Look, hey guys and gals, there is another type of extortion that you need to know about in Colombia. I'm going to jump into a quick story. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. And now, the news. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders, and my name is DC Rob. I'm going to jump into the story. I'm going to read the story. It's actually only about two minutes. So I want you to hear the story, and then I'm going to meet you on the other side. So let's just jump into it. There's a new modality of extortion through video call. This is the story. A man recounted the difficult moments he experienced after answering the video call. Attention, I am careful because now the extortions are also being done by video call. These days, the case of a man in Bogota who suffered this scourge just for answering the video call from an unknown number was known. The victim explained that he began to suffer a real nightmare when answering the call made from a social network, because in just 10 seconds his life was involved in an alleged case of with child under a certain age. It all started when the video call started. It lasted approximately 10 seconds, in which they showed a girl having obscene images. My face looked exactly on the video during the 10 seconds of watching. Then they hung up the call and started writing. Sir, we started working with you because we need you to send us $2,000 so we can return the video we just made of you. There's a record of you with a 13-year-old girl, the complainant explained to Noticias Caracol. Given the alert and fear of threats through text messages, the subject agreed to the demands of the extortionist, who each time asked for more money, supposedly, to attend to the illness of a relative. We sent them $200, unfortunately thinking that this could have very serious consequences for my work environment and my personal life. But they told us that this was not enough because they supposedly had a sick person in another country who they needed to cure and that the doctor asked them for, I don't know how much money, to be able to perform an operation on him, he said. Colonel DeVia, next day's prosecutor's office will deliver investigation results. Due to the strong harassment, the man decided to file a complaint with the authorities and report what he was suffering from. We immediately filed the complaint. Through networks, we disabled all the accounts and the police were also informed that same day, investigating 165, he said. And he stressed that the authorities gave him a peace of mind by indicating that nothing would happen, that nothing was going to happen and that he was calm, that he did not follow the extortion game and that he closed or eliminated all social networks, he reported. In this case, the authorities recommend not answering video calls from unknown or unscheduled numbers. Okay, so there you go. So there's other ways that this can go too. This is bad enough, but if you're on a dating site and someone says, hey, uh, connect via your, uh, well, here's my line or WhatsApp or Skype or whatever else, here's my whatever number, and you click on and you see, hey, there's some pretty girl sitting in the bed naked or whatever, guess what? You're on camera too. I would say, first of all, don't pick up any any calls from any unknown numbers and be sketched out about any new numbers too. If you're on a dating app and somebody and you know it's just about adult behavior, don't do it. I'm just going to tell you that right now. And don't do it on camera, of course. Don't put your face on camera. I mean, put your COVID mask on or whatever you got to do, but do not put yourself on camera because once they got you, they got you. Now, I don't know if uh, the viewers, you the viewers have been watching me long enough to remember that there was another scam. Well, I guess it's still going on a while ago, um, a different type of extortion where you'll call someone on WhatsApp and, and this happened to a guy. Uh, because he sent me the letter and had proof and all. So he calls, uh, they talk over the phone via uh, a voice, but she took, or he, we don't even know who's on the other end. She took his uh, phone call because it could have been a text if I, I can't recall, but she took his picture from WhatsApp and right away within like 10 minutes, she created some kind of wanted poster using the picture from his WhatsApp. So if anybody has talked to me over the last two days since I read this story, you won't see my picture on there. I meant to take that off a while ago, uh, but now I just have something else, some kind of shadow figures. But do not, and I'm just going to suggest you don't put your picture on WhatsApp either or any other type of media. I mean, they can get you, they can get you, they, they're going to get you, they're going to get you. I mean, these these cats, this is their job. Then they're professional at it. So I can just say do due diligence and be careful as possible. Don't jump on any uh, calls that you don't know who you're talking to. Now, if you just met somebody online and you jump on a video call, you don't know that person. 
Okay, you don't. So you may you may have talked to this person three or four times via text or whatever, and you're like, oh, this is lovely. Let me go ahead and try. You know, you always have that uh, second sense or sixth sense in the back that says, yeah, well, let me go ahead and click anyway, because you're a man and you say, well, let's see what's behind this camera. But I'm telling you, be careful, guys. You just, hey, I got to let you know what's going on. So be careful out there in your dating uh, experiences. Anyway, uh, remember, if you get any benefit out of my videos, do me a favor, go down and hit subscribe, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos, and like helps the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, guys, travel, but travel safe. Headed to Medellin, Colombia. See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. If you're in Medellin and you need dental work done, from a basic cleaning to major reconstructive surgery, come see my guy, Dr. Carlos Mori. Contact information in the description below. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're, you're just so stupid. I had to send you a video to let you know you so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Dating in Colombia can be confusing for foreign men. Plus, dating in Colombia can be outright dangerous. With Chica Check, you can date with confidence by screening your date first for past issues. Visit ChicaCheck.co and create your free account today.